Hey guys, in this video I'm going to give a brief overview of how to control a variable frequency drive. When manufacturers create these devices, they generally try to make them as versatile as possible to fit multiple applications. Uh, so, But there are some common things that are uh, seen virtually every drive that you uh, look at. No matter if it is an HVAC or an industrial drive, they're basically the same with a few exceptions, but the control of them uh, has a lot of uh, common points and that's what we're going to look at in this video. The two main points for controlling a drive is an enable as well as a speed reference. These drives are generally equipped with multiple inputs and even uh, configurable outputs as well. Uh, they also feature uh, various communication options uh, just depending on the particular drive that you have. Some drives will have this option, some will not. This particular drive is running a pump. This pump is controlled using differential pressure. Through the DDC control, the controller looks at the set point and then looks at the pressure and then will either increase the speed to the drive or that it's telling the drive to run or decrease it depending on what the actual pressure is. The speed reference which is in this particular drive landed on AI1. This particular drive will use a 0 to 10 volts input signal. However, there are it could use a 4 to 20 milliamp signal as well. It just really depended on how the overall configuration of the system is. This input is seen basically as a percentage of the motor speed. If you were to put a 5 volt signal on this input, the motor speed, no matter what that speed is, would run to half speed. If Just for a hypothetical, if you were running a thousand RPM motor, if you put a 5 volt signal on it, that represents 50 percent of the input, which means the motor would run at 500. If you put the full 10 volts on it, it would run at a thousand. So again, that's just a hypothetical number to make it a little easier to understand. The input speed reference whether it is a 0 to 10 or a 4 to 20 is a percentage of the total speed of the motor. Now that's the speed reference. To tell these drives to run there are various ways of doing that as well. This one is configured uh, just as a binary input. Once it sees a, an input coming from a relay it will turn on and begin to run based upon the input from the relay as well as the speed reference that's how we will control this particular drive. You can see currently because I have this drive disabled for demonstration purposes we have a zero percent on the input we also have zero hertz going out to this drive or going out from this drive that's because we're disabled. The relay is open there is no uh, relay whatsoever is not closed. It's just a set of dry contacts. But once that relay closes, it will. That is the run enable for this drive. The drive will then look for a speed reference coming from the controller, and then we'll ramp up the motor. Currently, I have this system completely disabled. You can see that the command points for the pumps are off, and you can also see that the speed reference is at zero. That coincides with what we're seeing on the drive. Now then, once I enable this system, you will see the relays close a set of contacts for, for the run enable, and then the drive will go to a minimum speed. This, this particular unit does have a minimum speed set up in the system, in the drive itself. Uh, whenever it gets a speed reference, it will go above that minimum speed set point. However, 
with the relay simply closing a set of contacts and sending the enable to this drive, this drive will run to a minimum frequency. What I'm doing now is enabling this system. First thing that it will do is start a pump. Now then, we see that we have a relay that's, that is closed. We see that we have a command on our pump, but we have no speed reference. Our speed reference is at 0%. Even though the speed reference is at 0%, our drive is putting out 30 hertz. This is because this particular drive has a minimum speed output configured. Once it receives an enable from the DDC control through closing a set of contacts, this drive will go to its minimum frequency output set point. That is configured within the drive itself. You can see here that our hot water differential pressure set point is 8 PSI. The actual differential pressure measured from the sensor is 10.6 PSI. That means even at a minimum, this drive is exceeding the pressure set point. That is why our command is at 0%. However, if I were to change this set point, you would see an increase in the command signal to the drive. For, I'm going to raise this to 15. Now then, in a moment, the output to the drive will increase. You can see that we just went to 10% on the output from the controller. That coincides with what we're seeing on the drive. However, you also see that the drive is still putting out a consistent 30 hertz. The reason for this is the percentage of the input signal for the speed reference has not exceeded the 30 hertz threshold. In other words, we do not have a command to the drive to run the motor more than half its speed. If that set point exceeds the frequency, then we will see an increase, which we're starting to do now. We're at 21.9%, 22, and you can see that it's actually starting to increase the frequency output to the drive, from the drive.